Hello friends, this video on fractions part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction, Fractions, Fractions on number line, Types of fractions wherein we'll discuss proper, improper and mixed fractions, Equivalent fractions, like and unlike fractions, Simplest form of a fraction, Comparing fractions, Addition of fractions and Subtraction of fractions. So fractions, you might be curious to know what are they. So let us look at these examples. Mary came back from her school and she was very excited that she scored 95% marks in maths. So what is this 95? This 95 is nothing but a number. To be more precise, it is a whole number or a natural number, whatever you call it. Right? Sometimes you go out with your parents and you get balloons for yourself and you say very happily that I have five balloons. So when you count these number of balloons and you decide that you have five of them, what is five? Five is again a number, to be more precise, a whole number. You look at the time and you say that it's 6 p.m. What is six? So six again is nothing but a number or a whole number or a natural number. So 95, 5, 6, these are all examples of whole numbers. Now let's say that when you eat just a small part of a pizza, so this is the complete pizza, but you just ate a small slice of it. So how do you express it that, okay, I ate just a small part of the pizza. Now if you say that I ate one pizza, will that mean that you ate one slice of pizza? Not really. That would mean that you ate one complete pizza. But did you eat the complete pizza? No. You just ate a small slice of it. Now, if you say that I ate one slice of pizza. Now, somebody who is listening to you, how would that person understand that how much is one slice? Now, a pizza can be cut into maybe 20 slices such that each slice is very thin. It is also possible that the same pizza is just divided into two slices such that each slice is like almost half of the pizza. So how would the other person know how much does one slice mean? So even saying that I ate one slice of a pizza doesn't really make a lot of sense. So what do you do in this case? So in this case what you do is you say that I ate one-fifth of the pizza. Now, what is this one-fifth? This means that I ate one slice out of five slices of the pizza. That means if you assume that the pizza was divided into five equal slices, like one, two, three, four, and five, then I ate one of those five equal slices. So, I ate one slice out of five slices. So, this one-fifth of the pizza doesn't matter how big the pizza is, but this would always convey that if that pizza is divided into five parts, you just ate one part of it. So, so expressing this thing as one by five solved the purpose. So this one by five is nothing but a fraction. So when you look at one by five, you see that it has two numbers, one and five. And both these numbers have been put together to form a fraction. And fraction perfectly solves this purpose where you want to express that you ate some parts out of the total number of parts. So this is fraction and we are going to discuss in more detail about fractions in the, this lesson. Let us look at another example. Let's say that there are four kids in your house and you have a total of two muffins. Now since you have four kids and you want to distribute these two muffins amongst them, so what would you do? Will it be nice if you just give one one muffin to two of them and do not give anything to the rest of the two? That would not look nice. So what should you do? You should do something such that each one of them gets equal amount of muffin. So what would you do? You would divide each muffin into half and you would give half muffin to each of them. So how much of the muffin did each of them get? What fraction of the muffin did they get? 
they get 1 by 2. That means if you divide the muffin into two equal parts, so one part out of those two equal parts has been received by each child. So you see here it was the total muffin which was divided into two equal parts like 1 and 2. So one part out of the two equal parts is half. And this half is nothing but an example of a fraction. So now even before we start talking about or if we start before we define fractions let us quickly look at the different types of numbers which already existed before fractions. Natural numbers, those numbers which come very naturally to us. For example, you ask a three year old kid to count. So how does that child count? The child starts counting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and so on. So all these numbers starting from 1 till infinity, they all are called natural numbers because they come naturally to us. The second type of number are the whole numbers. And whole numbers are nothing but 0, 1, 2, 3 till infinity. So basically all natural numbers along with 0 are called whole numbers. Then we have integers. So integers are basically all the whole numbers that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 till infinity plus the negative numbers. So all the positive numbers, negative numbers plus 0. So all of these together come under integers. So these are the three types of numbers which already existed, which we already know about them. Now the question is, why fractions? Why do we even need fractions? Do we need them? Of course we need them, that is why they exist. So that we can conveniently express how much of a pizza did we eat. Yes, pizza is one of the very good examples to understand fractions. Now, as I told you that when you eat one slice of a pizza, how much did you eat? You need some number which can very clearly describe that fact or express that fact. So if you say that I ate one fifth of a pizza, that means that if the pizza is divided into five equal slices, then you ate one slice of that pizza. Or if you, whether you ate one complete pizza or you ate one and a half pizza, that is one complete pizza plus half of another pizza. So that would be one and a half. So one, one and a half is an example of fraction. One fifth is an example of fraction. 4 by 5, that means you ate 4 slices out of 5 slices of the pizza. So 4 by 5 is an example of a fraction. So these are all examples of fractions and in order to describe such scenario, we do need numbers like fractions. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple 4 step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.